Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, we all need something to write or make measurements, jot down, scribble, whatever the case is. In the field, you are going to be using a writing utensil for the most part if you're writing on wood, PVC, concrete, an AC unit, a coil, whatever the case is, guys, you are going to be needing something to mark with. So this week, we're going to be taking a look at a couple options as far as marking or writing utensils for the field. So with that being said, guys, we're going to start for the least expensive to the most expensive item and work our way up. That way, you could take a look at multiple items and see what works better for you. So the first item that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be this baby right here. Let's go ahead and zoom into it. This one right here is going to be the general scriber pen number 88 and as you can tell it's going to come right here and it's going to be and it's going to be a tungsten carbide tip which is going to be hardened that way you can write on steel glass anything like that and you can use it to write it down so you're going to be able to mark on wood as well let me go ahead and bring a piece of wood up here let's go ahead and slide this over throw it in the recycling bin i have this small piece of wood right on there let's see if we could zoom in if you're trying to make a mark you could see that it scribes it scribes right on there let's see if we grab a square went ahead and grab a square and then you're going to be able to just mark it and you're going to have a nice straight line that way you can mark and cut whatever the case and this is going to be on wood you're also going to be able to scribe on it this is going to be some iron and if let me see if it could catch it You can see the marks that it makes. That way you could write on steel as well. These are going to be very nice. This one alone is going to set you back for $7.29. That way you could go ahead and make some marks or write down whatever you want to on there. It is going to write, it is going to write on glass as well, which is a nice little feature. And you're just going to be able to use it for multiple uses. Uh, stainless steel also for all you welders out there making, working on metals, you can make a scribing mark and then it's going to be held. And also on high temperatures, you're also going to be able to see it. Very nice scribing writing utensil that you can use. So let's go on to the next one. The next one's going to be called the STKR Mechanical Carpenter's Pencil. Let me see if I could zoom back out. And this is going to be the way it comes with, and it's gonna come with some extra uh, refills. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here you're gonna have it, guys. You're gonna be able to press it down and it's gonna open up and close up and however, how far you're gonna need it or how much lead you're gonna be using. So here you go, it is going to be made out of plastic. You're gonna have a nice little clip that way you could put it in your pocket, pants, wherever you're gonna be using it. And of course, it is going to be writing on wood. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the square also and write down and that way you could see your measurements. You could, it's gonna make, make a nice little mark on there. The actual lead tip is gonna come a little bit at an angle and if you press them you could actually break them wherever you want and it's gonna be uh, able to break and whatever size or however you go along now as far as sharpening uh, most of us carry a knife with us so you'll be able to sharpen it or on the brick just go ahead and sharpen it up and have it this one alone is going to set you back for eight dollars and 97 cents and it is going to come with some extra leads right here now of course finding the leads or finding somewhere that's going to have them i believe lowe's carries them so in case you're wondering who might have them lowe's was the one where I picked it up on Amazon, you're gonna be able to find it for $8.97. So again, guys, let me know what y'all think in the comments below and what kind of tool you're gonna to be using. This is mostly used for carpenters, which is gonna be for wood. You could also use it for metal, ceramics, and concrete, that way you can mark it. So keep that in mind, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. The next one's going to be this puppy right here. This is going to be the Milwaukee Liquid Paint Marker. Now, this one alone is going to set you back for $9.75. And as you can tell, I have kids. They went ahead and wrote all over it, which was a pen or pencil. They didn't even use a scribing tool. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what this marker is about. And why would you be using a marker? Well, as far as marking, you might want to be using it for visibility or sometimes it's wet outside. You can mark or for metal pipes, you're able to see more visible the item now you're going to want to shake it before you use it and you could hear it. it's 
shaking up that paint that way you can use it and of course this is the yellow and again it sets you back for nine dollars and 75 cents on amazon so you're going to be able to just press down on it that way you can get that paint on there and once you see that paint coming through it starts getting so you can see where the paint's starting to come through let me see if we could catch it with the camera let's see if we could zoom in that paint starting to come through and you can see where I made a mark already with yellow. So you're going to be able to mark it and then cut it. Or if you want to torch it up, heat it up, whatever the case is, that paint is going to hold. Also on wood, if you choose to make it on wood, you're going to be able to see that yellow lining. It is a little bit thick, so just keep that in mind. Also for brick, um, metals, anything like that, the paint's going to be able to withstand or be be able to be seen for quite a while um be careful where you mark because sometimes the paint will not come off unless you actually sand it down scrub it whatever you're going to be doing it the lid does fit in the back and of course you are going to have a clip that we could clip it on you downfall about the markers is that they will dry up with time you leave it open and it will dry up so just keep that in mind let's go ahead and move on to the next item the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be this baby right here. Now, this is going to be the Duramark Chuck Shot. So, as you can tell, it is a little interesting item. Uh, this one, you're going to be able to find it for $13.45. And let's go ahead and open it up and see what this is about. It's going to be an interesting little design. Now, the whole point about this, it is going to be paint. And it's going to be meant for places that you cannot reach. For example, these holes. Sometimes your pencil won't be able to make whatever mark you want to make in there or not reach or if you're anchoring certain items let me grab another piece of wood some places you're not going to be able to mark now there is a little locking mechanism if you see on the side right here this tab's gonna you have to slide it over and line it up and once you line it up you're going to be able to make your mark so for example these two holes right here if you want to make some holes on there it's going to shoot it and when you take them off you're going to be able to see where your two holes are at and you're going to be able to drill or install wherever you want core whatever the case is and actually get it right on the mark so you go ahead and twist it back over so let me see here once you lift it up twist it that way you don't go ahead and press it while you have it on you and it's going to lock it on there now it is paint so just keep that in mind and this one alone is going to set you back for $13.45 let's go ahead and move on to the next one the next one's going to be this baby right here. This is going to be the Pika Pencil, and it's going to be valued at about $13.78. Now, this is going to be a pencil. Now, this one was a pretty neat little design. I believe it is made in Germany. Now, you're going to have a nice clip right here, and that clip's going to catch on there. For that, it's going to be because this outer, outer piece is going to be a sleeve for it. So once you pull it out, you're going to be able to see this pencil in the... On the very front, you're going to have a nice slim point, uh, a nice slim steel uh, body in the front. And also, it's going to be narrow. That way, you can fit it into some areas uh, that you need to where a regular pencil probably won't. Now, the, it is going to be lead. You can see how sharp it is. And in the back, you're going to be able to install more leads if you want to. That way, you can store extra pencils. Now, in the front, again, this is going to be the sleeve. You're going to have the clip. But in the front, you're actually going to have a pencil sharpener. If you could see it up here in the front let me see if we can catch it right there so all you do is just go ahead and slide this in and just twist it and you're going to be able to sharpen your pencil in case you need it more uh tight or i'm sorry more sharpened that way you could get into those fine lines of pencil so you go ahead and put it on there and you can make your marks right next to this right next to this one let me see if it catches there we go right next to this one and there you go. You're going to be able to see that pencil mark. It is going to be nice and fine pencil in case you're wondering. And again, guys, this one alone is going to set you back for about $13.78. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is going to be this right here. This is going to be the Sharp Draw Heavy Duty Carpenter's Pencil. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside. So you are going to get some extra lead right 
on this side and this is going to be an interesting design it's going to be like a utility blade so you go ahead and just slide it out and instead of it being a blade it's actually going to be a pencil made out of carbon fiber reinforced uh lead that way it's going to last longer and it's not going to break as easy so you're going to go ahead and grab it and right next to the right next to the other pika pencil we're going to draw it and you're going to see where it's making those marks on there now again it is going to be reinforced that way it doesn't break on you and if you want to you could also break them and that way you have the next piece ready as you can see the lines just like a regular break off utility blade which is pretty interesting now this one alone is going to set you back for $13.90 so just keep that in mind and it's going to have a little clip that we could clip it on you and have it on you at all times so go ahead and just slide it back over and you're going to be able to store it and have it that is that's that one and let's keep on going and going to the next one this one's going to be the next one guys this one is going to be the ox tough carbon marking pencil so let's go ahead and see inside and open it back up you're going to get three different types of of inserts that you're going to get one's going to be a a white wax crayon right here or marker and then a yellow wax and then an extra lead pencil that you're going to get so let's go ahead and put these over to the side and here you're going to have the actual pencil or writing utensil so let's move this over and this is going to be it so let's go ahead and zoom into it that way you can see it better this is going to be the oxford again you're going to have a clip that's built in tough that way it could stay on you and if you slide it open it's going to be the pencil that you get so the pencil you're going to go ahead and press it down and it's going to shoot out the lead or if you want to put it back in you're going to have a stainless steel tip that way you can fit in areas and if you could tell it is made out it's going to be square shape and the purpose of that is so it doesn't roll over or uh, go rolling off on you now in the front it's going to be a safety sheet a safety feature that way you don't poke yourself and of course you are going to have a sharpener right here if you could tell by the clip you go ahead and you insert it on the side and you're gonna have a nice little sharpener that way you could sharpen your pencil and make it uh sharpen so that's gonna be that one we're gonna go ahead and slide it back in and the total for this one is going to be the 13 dollars 90 let's go ahead and keep on going and moving on to the next one the next one's going to be the fat boy right here so this one i've already made a video on it which is still a pretty good pencil or writing utensil whatever you want to call it i've been liking it so far and i have used it right now i have the soapstone because everybody knows that it is a pencil as well but uh, as far as soapstones if you don't know what soapstone is uh, mostly you're going to be finding it maybe in the masonry or in the welding or metal fabrication the purpose of a soapstone is going to be that you're going to be able to weld let me see if you could catch that right there you go if you could catch it on metal you're going to be able to see the soapstone catch very well and that way you can make those cuts and also on high heats it's going to stay and if you rub it it will come off and you could lose it on there but as far as for the most part you probably end up grinding that section that way you get rid of that coloring now it does come with a red wax wax pencil and of course two leads uh two leads that's going to be about 5.5 millimeter thick, which is very thick lead. So as you can see, it's going to be a thick, uh, a thick soapstone. And of course, the leads are going to be on the inside. So just keep that in mind. This fat boy alone is going to set you back for $18.99. And in case you need to sharpen uh, your leads or your, you could go ahead and pull off this rear cap. And on the inside of the cap, you're actually going to have a sharpener. So if you go ahead and twist it on there, you're going to be able to see that you're going to sharpen it up. And you can see all the shavings coming out. And you're going to be able to sharpen it up. That way you could have a finer line uh, tuning. And also in the back, you're going to have a eraser just in case whenever you're using the pencil you need to erase some lines. That's what it's going to be for the back. So again, guys, it is going to set you back for... $18.99 it is going to be a hefty price but the quality is going to be very nice so let's keep going guys and working our way to the most expensive items now the milwaukee markers are actually not that expensive but on amazon they only offer them in a 26 pack for this variety color so i went ahead and purchased it so that's why it's going to be high up on the list but milwaukee does make permanent markers 
That way you could mark them. Uh, me, myself, I'm going to use permanent markers for the most part. And then that way you could be seeing most of the most of my writing. So as far as most of my writing, I tend to go to a red permanent marker because sometimes I'm dealing with black um, metals or cast iron as far as cutting it and using a black sharpie on dark metals or black iron pipe or uh, cast iron is not going to work and you're not going to be able to see it that well so i usually typically go towards the red i have not tried green or blue but red is my red is my go-to marker now this set alone for 20 a 24 pack is going to set you back at 26 dollars and 40 cents for all four colors but it's going to be uh divided in 24s now it is going to be a permanent marker and you could see milwaukee's design let's go ahead and cite this you could see milwaukee's design their clip is actually meant let me see if i could just catching everything else their clip is actually meant to clip on your hard hat so if you're using a lot of hard hats this clip alone you're going to be able to clip it and use it on your hard hat now also you're going to be able to write on woods and you're also going to be able to write on dust uh some wet surfaces and of course some oils uh, oil slick surfaces and as far as metal also on metal you're going to be able to catch it and write on there so these are going to be nice. Uh, I typically use Sharpie. The only reason I got these was because Home Depot had them and I picked them up just because it's equivalent to a Sharpie or a permanent marker. So um, they are going to be a little bit better just because you're able to use it on the trades and they're meant for being used in the trades as far as dust, oils, and and so on, so on. Now the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be here. This one is going to be the Markel Pro which this one i have used and it's very nice guys i've been liking it it does feel a little bit heavy so when you have it on your pocket you do feel that weight on there but it is made out of quality material i had also made a video on this one previously so if you'd like to look at the videos go ahead and take a look at the channel and the previous videos and i'll put a link on top so this one alone is going to be the markel pro it is going to be made out of pencil and you are going to have lead inside and in the very back it's going to be made with a sharpener that way you can sharpen uh, your lead and have a fine point on there that way you can make some nice marks and then also you go ahead and press it and the lead's going to go ahead and come out and of course you could store another lead in the body right here now it is going to come with these multiple different colors um you're going to get some red and a yellow marker and of course the two extra lead lead pencils so just keep that in mind guys this one alone is going to set you back at 26 dollars and 80 cents which is a hefty little price but it has last and i do like it so just keep that in mind and last but not least was this baby this was the one that i wanted to look at and pretty much why i made this video just to see what this one is about so this one's going to be the mason ultimate builders tool multi-use six in one lead and scribing tool so this one alone is gonna set you back for $39.95 so let's go ahead and open it up and see why this is gonna cost you so much so here you're gonna have it guys this one's going to be it the mason's pencil right here now some of the most interesting features is going to be that it does have a level in sight and it is going to be a flat surface so in case you need a level this one's going to work as a level that way you can make sure everything you're doing is going to be level and very nicely um, horizontal so that's one you're going to have a nice little metal clip that way you could clip it on your pencil or on your shirt let's see here we could catch it and then on the side, you are going to have some rulers. You're going to have it in a metric and centimeters on the side. But the cool thing is that if you're an uh, architect or if you're in the building, as far as building new homes, you are going to have a nice little architectural scale on each side, which is going to be quarter inch and eighth of an inch. That way you could size up and get some measurements on there. If you're the foreman and you're getting some takeoffs, this is going to be pretty nice to have on you. And it's also going to be a lead pencil. So with that lead pencil, you're going to be able to write down whatever you need and also be making some marks. So you go ahead and place it on there. And you're going to have some nice pen pencil marks. So in case you don't need the pencil and you need a scribing tool, well, then you're going to have a scribing tool also at the very end. You could close the top right here. And once you close it, you could set it on there. That way you don't lose the top. And, of course, you're going to have a scribing tool as well. That way you could scribe 
on there and have it ready or cut out for any metals now also the lid is going to serve as another purpose it is going to be a sharpener on the inside also so let me see here you probably can't see it but inside you're going to have a sharpener that way you can sharpen it up your lead so that's going to be the features that it is going to have it's very nice guys and it is made out of metal so just keep that in mind very nice quality pencil so 36 $39.95 you make the choice let me know which of these uh, writing utensils you're gonna go ahead and pick up or you have not seen please let me know in the comments below and if there's something else that i should take a look at please also let me know as always guys thank you all for the support and thanks for watching one to the week guys